warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. So my name is Nazahira Beti Muhammad Razi. I am the manager of the Berjaya Aquaculture Company. So today, I will be conducting this online interview with you. How are you feeling today? Okay, thank you for asking that question. Today, I am feeling very well and prepared to be interviewed by you. Thank you. Where you do look seems perfect. So let's get started. First of all, tell me about yourself. Okay. My name is Muhammad Yusuf Izman bin Muhammad Azmi. I am 23 years old and uh, I have a degree in Bachelor of Science Agrotechnology of Aquaculture and expected to be graduate from UMT in September 2020. I am proficient and fluent in both English and Malay and I do enjoy doing outdoor sports such as badminton and soccer because these sports encourage me to cooperate more with my team members. And then I love to participate in club activities as when I participate most of my time during my three years study there. And then I am very serious when task was assigned to me and I want to utilize my skills and knowledge in aquaculture sector to benefit more in aquaculture industries in our country. Well, that's quite a lot of you. So, next question is, why do you like this field? Okay, first of all, I like this field because aquaculture is a way to generate economy. Aquaculture usually is a sector when we, where we will conduct or culturing freshwater or marine in a confined space, such as in a tank, pond, man-made -man island system, or open water cage, until it it reached marketable size. So, by doing aquaculture, uh, by uh, I like aquaculture because it can be a long-term uh, solution or alternative that can present uh, can sustain the seafood demand of ever-growing population in the world. And then I also like aquaculture because it can provide a job opportunity to others, and I want to give back to give back to the community. Okay, so next is why should we choose you for our company? Okay, first of all, I am very hardworking person. I like to hard work and I take each task that assigned to me very diligently. I like to complete my task as fast as possible and neatly as possible because when you do things uh, or you do things you wholeheartedly, it really show your attitude towards towards the job. And then, I have the essential skills such as fish culturing, fish disease and fish nutrition, which I believe that these skills can benefit your company. And then, I like to prepare myself to learn in, in the new environments where I think that myself, I like to engage in a new environments that require me to learn a new set of skills. And then I am also a fast learner, which I tend to pick up new sets of skills and knowledge, and also engage my uh, that enables me to adapt in a new uh, environments. Okay. Okay. So actually, we are looking for a person with a positive attitude. So can you describe the things uh, that you have done uh, to demonstrate your quality? Okay, so positive attitude. First of all, I think I, I myself is a positive person because there is one situation when in our final year project where we have a lot of challenges and setback. The more the major ones uh, that set, the setback that we have conquered or faced is when uh, we have the uh, facing problem the unavailability of tiger grouper juvenile which we is the subject of our experiment so we face this problem when we have conducted all the exper uh, have conducted all the experiment and set up the equipment needed to conduct the experiment so uh, i think that when we face this problem i myself and also my uh, teammates uh, proof that we are a positive person when we do not let the setback get to us and uh, face the challenge and uh, enable us to find the solution which uh, we have we find the solution by uh, find a ways to 
change the species of the grouper which is the orange spotted grouper and then another example is when we have a field work uh, in ethnic relationship ethnic relationship subject uh, my apologies which uh, need the, uh, need us to conduct a program with the community so we decided that we will perform a program with uh, with uh, an orphanage in Kuala Besut Terengganu so during this subject that uh, in this uh, field trip subject required we had a uh, car incident where two uh, out of three cars our cars clash with uh, each other so even though uh, we have that setback we keep our positive attitude and prevail the problems altogether okay that is interesting yes of course okay so next Question is so your major weakness. Okay, my major weakness is Tell me your major weakness. Uh, okay, about my major weakness is that first of all, <laughs> first of all that I am ten, have a tendency to give up in a hard situation. When situation hits me up or corner me up, I tend to give up in this matter. For example, when I have a pro facing a problem in group work or does, uh, does not have understand, enough understanding in the study or have a personal problems, I tend to give up in this matter. Even though I have a tendency to give up, it doesn't mean, it doesn't mean that uh, I do not face the problem and find a solution to it. And then another, my major weakness is that I have a tendency, a lack of tendency of motiv self-motivation, which is when I have a given a sign or a task that ne that's need to be done. When I'm alone, I will not finish the task uh, as quick as I should. Uh, compared to when I have somebody besides me that encourage me and motivate me to finish the job quickly, such as you. Okay, sure. Okay, last question for your online interview. Yes. So I just want to ask you, what have you read? Oh, what have I read lately? So there is this interesting articles that entitled uh, the do do the benefits of aquaculture outweigh its negative impact. So the article says that the positive um impact of aquaculture is that it is that uh, aquaculture is a long-term solution or alternative solution to the to the seafood sources in the ocean because as we know that overfishing nowadays occur very uh, rapidly so the natural habitat such as the fish the shellfish cannot replenish uh, regularly so aquaculture sectors provide this medium to uh, as a uh, seafood resources as uh, that can cooperate or the uh, cooperate the demands of ever growing population and then uh, aquaculture sector also lets us uh, eventually harvest underwater plants which can be used in pharmaceuticals nutritional supplements and other uh, other products and then the negative impact of this aquaculture is that Aquaculture is can can be used as a transfer disease to others uh, natural habitat because first of all it pollutes the water which is uh, aquaculture sector have excessive nutrients and fecal matter that can be caused due to the concentration number of large fish in one area and then also aquaculture sectors also tends to have invasive species which is the hybrid where the invasive species uh, can uh, have a negative impact to the natural environment. And lastly, the, the aquaculture sector also costs a lot of resource food. So I think this is a big major part in the negative impact of aquaculture. But let's see, the article says that even though it has negative impact, we can never uh, outlook the positive impact that aquaculture can benefit us. So it's up to us to, to think what is the perfect combination to so that aquaculture can benefit us away the negative impact. So that's all for me. Thank you. Well, 
You do seem to read a lot. Lately. No, just one article. Okay, so I think I'm ready. So if there's anything news, we will contact you. All right. Thank you. Success or not. Okay. okay then in this online interview, hope to meet you soon. All right. Thank you. Bye-bye.